what is the orange made of? How do I answer that question? Well, I want to look deeply inside the orange, so I magnify it. And I magnify it again, and if I keep on doing it, deep inside, sooner or later, I begin to see molecules come into view. But molecules are not the end of the story because the molecules, I can enlarge them. And if I make them big enough deep inside, I begin to see atoms. Atoms are not the end of the story too because you have electrons zooming around the nucleus. Deep inside, mostly empty space in the atom, but deep inside, you see the nucleus. So if I grab that and magnify it, I see that the nucleus is itself made of particles, neutrons and protons. If I grab one of the neutrons and magnify it, I find yet further particles, little tiny quarks inside. Now that is where the conventional idea stops. String theory comes along and suggests that inside these particles there is something else. So if I take a little quark and I magnify it, conventional idea says there's nothing inside, but string theory says I'll find a little tiny filament, a little filament of energy, a little string-like filament. And just like a string on a violin, I pluck it and it vibrates, creates a little musical note that I can hear. The little strings in string theory, when they vibrate, they don't produce musical notes, they produce the particles themselves.